Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's uh, let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I want to take a ride on your what? Well, you can't say that. This is the worst shop I've ever seen in my life. Um, at least we can buy a flex unit and hold it for two rounds and not want to cry too much. Um, okay, like... Here's the here's the freaking deal. We're gonna lose round one. Let's be a submissive sailor. That's what submarine means, right? Something to do. They're all good from the same root word. What am I talking? I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm just looking at my existing team and I'm saying this is the worst team I've ever seen. But does it have a future? And believe it or not, I think the answer may be yes. We want to make sure both birds get buffed. But I also don't mind. If I combine you, you're going to give the two pets behind 2 HP. But then, that's 4 HP total. This is 6 HP total. But so much of it is going into yourself that that seems irrelevant. I think you get the cheeky level 2 early. Now, this is... Honestly, hold on. I see a future for this pug. One, one excess gold. Crazy. Wow. Um, this, I don't think is as bad as it looks. It's going to be a 7-7 seven, seven pill bug, and then we're going to have two 2-4 two, birds, uh, starting from the next shop onwards. Holy cow, we're going to draw this one. The pug is also going to, well, I guess the pug could buff one bird and have it give us a little bit more. I got to think about this, okay? What about this? Sell me. Faint, uh, uh, get a dove that faints, of course. For now, I'd rather have the extra 2-4 out there. But you can see where this, this future leads us. Can you? The one thing I like about this right now is that at least the pill bug is buffing some units. Like, it's not much scaling at all. But any scaling in the early game is more than you usually get. So to see a 9-10 pill bug out there... That is wreaking havoc. Is kind of is is getting me feeling a certain sort of way. For now, let's have our dove get uh, scaled. The pill bug. Do we really want our pill bug buffing our birds again? It would be nicer if it buffed like multiple units. So I actually feel like we want it to buff. Forgive me on the order here, okay? I think... Because I we could make our dove level 2 for one round, but I'd rather give the dove 2 more HP. Let's have the dove and the bird... get buffed. by Because I think the pill bug effect is the most valuable thing for me right now. Now, with three gold left, I roll. I roll and I look for things we already have. I think you could say something about a kiwi. A panda, not, not so much. I'm okay with this, man. I'm okay with this. For now. Go ahead. They've, al they've already done what they needed to do. I don't need to explain myself to you. We just won the last two rounds since using this insane strategy. So there's four free HP on the board via the pill bug. Forget the salamander, you had your chance. Now it's time for you guys to get combined so we can fit another unit out there, okay? And I think we'd rather get the extra buff. Yeah, we'd rather get 2-2 two, two than an extra 1-1. One, one. So why not, uh, although, to be honest with you, uh, if we do this and then we sell, we could get a little bit of both for now. Whether that's relevant or not is more, I think, is a judgment call. I'm still content with you. Anybody up needing more HP? I would rather roll for more pairs right now. That's that's something that seems to have served me well psychologically. Looking for animals we already have. Okay, it didn't it didn't work. It didn't work. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I still feel like the stats we have on this squad are actually like kind of okay. They're comparable to our enemy stats, I would say. So you got a 9-9 guinea pig? Holy cow. That's, a, that's, not a, that's not a slouch. Comparable, but you're better. That level 2 cassowary, that's a game changer for sure. Okay. First real loss. 
that we had some control over. I still say you can run a combine buy sell and I think that this is enough scaling to be worth it right now. Now keep in mind this round you want to make sure you got your scaling hooked up right. We don't really need a level 3 pill bug via a pug. It would be nice if that had any impact but it doesn't. A yak, I sleep. Another bird. Yes. We don't really need another pug. Another bird for now is, is a 2-2 two -two that also gives a temporary 2-2 two -two buff. But we got to make sure we want the squad. We want the dove and the bird, or the hummingbird, to be buffed. Although maybe the pug is sticking around. So maybe we want the pug and the bird to be buffed. And you birds can just keep living your own life. Now, I recognize we're not getting the faint trigger from the bird onto the pill bug in all likelihood. But I'd rather care about the other buff instead i'd rather care about the uh no don't send me to the back we got problems we draw these holy cow i i, I care more about the pill bug buff than the the temporary one one or two two i guess okay so that's good now level get a good unit a zebra it's a great buy cell i can live with the buy cell fantastic who cares? It's great that it goes to these units. We love them. A saber-toothed tiger that could instantly be level two. I think we owe it to ourselves to give it a try. This is the value of our pug now. Just remember that. I thought about the pelican, but I do also have to say I feel like the pelican is just it's a little slow. It's just a little, not a lot, just a little slow. So, I think we are about to see the the full power of this battle station if you know what i'm saying that was not even close this should be where we're peaking on the curve which is scary because we only have three wins we got to find a way to keep the pressure on but seems okay honestly for right now like you're probably the most likely to go i'm actually going to give my pug the grape i want him to have a reason to stick around we're also about to get a buff here on these two units i think it's okay let's have our saber to tiger get more buff i don't care about the tempura shrimp i don't care about the bird as much anymore you getting a level next turn does appeal to me but i'm probably going to sell you anyway okay there's no secret. We're kind of like struggling to figure out where we stand right now. We need like a, a unit that actually does something long term. But. Or do we? Or do we? Or do we? We draw these. Let's go. The fact that we could draw a koala lion team. Very positive sign for me. I love. Uh, first off, thank you for the buff. We got one more of those coming. Then you start to just become like a body. But. An orca. Summon two random level one pets. Can I be honest with you? It's the kind of thing that just tickles my fancy right now. You're gone. I just want to see what you do. Because <laughs> we haven't really tried to make this work at all yet. Um, and let's, let's have you level as well. I'm assuming you're going to summon two random level two pets. Let's give you a cucumber. We don't care for our bird anymore. I think this is an interesting chance for us to start experimenting with some of the higher level unit or higher tier units we normally don't buy because like, you know, it's hard to level them up or like impossible to level them up. That didn't seem that great, but I understand that's what happens when you've got random chance involved. We still win. Okay. We got like a faint team here. It's interesting. If we could get like a vulture. That's very nice. It's a vulture. Do you think? I think. I think, man. So sell me. Try me with one of these. Pug at the back. Buffing a vulture. I love this. Do I want my vulture to be... Is this my team? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but take a cucumber. All right, you lucky son of a gum. Why not? We're here. Let's give it a try. 
So we have the potential to summon many units. Our vulture will be a level two, and it'll it'll start sniping like crazy. Okay, you get a buff. Congrats. No, don't move my orca to the back. That completely invalidates my game plan. My game plan. Okay, we're, it's all right. We're still alive. We're on lethal. I still think this team can pop. It's just very low on all stats. For sure. Now, you don't even need to be level 3 anymore. Because you, like, don't... You don't do anything. You know what I mean? Like, you don't... There's no reason to level you up except to get a guaranteed tier 6 unit. But there is something I like here. You can give guaranteed coconut armor. Am I willing to sell a vulture? If we don't get shuffled, I really feel like this vulture pops, man. We, we can't sell an orca. We'd have to sell a saber tooth to make it work because the vulture and the orca are a package deal. The velociraptor requires the pill bug. Like, coconut armor is insane. I, I don't think this works. I'm going to buff even further my, my saber tooth tiger. I'm going to say no to a velociraptor, though it makes me cry. I'm going to give two random pets four health. I am going to, um, I think we, if we win, we're going to be in this for the long haul. Let's buff this orca, okay? I guess the pill bug really doesn't need a strawberry any longer, but I think it's our most disposable unit now, but it has served us well up to this point. That's, a, that unit is too strong. Those are not the units I'm looking to get faint triggers off of, just to be clear. The Orca's gonna crush us. Okay, fair enough. We, dude, we almost came out of that. Here's what I'm gonna say about this. I still think we had a cool thing going there. I think the pill bug was not the problem until maybe it was. Um, sure. God, this is a slap in the face. Um, I'll take a 1-4 with upside and a 3-1. Instead of a 1-4, let's be in the sniffing fanboy. And I, I think what we learned from that, though it pains me, we shouldn't have pivoted to the, the vulture faint build. I don't think it did enough for us. I think we should have stuck with trying to buff that saber tooth tiger, maybe give it like a green pepper or something like that, and maybe we, we pop off as a result. Now, for now, I, I just want to be clear, I hate this squad. But bird plus strawberry, it starts to at least give you something. <laughs> like hummingbird, strawberry is, there's some merit to it. Fair enough. Now, we're actually still going to lose, which seemed un unfathomable for a minute there. But I still think that's the best that that could have gone. So this is a very normal, sensible looking squad right here. Get yourself a little buy sell. I would say get yourself a little buy sell. I would say for now, you probably sell your duck. That allows you to get a 2-4 iguana out there, which is worth something, maybe. We do want to level up. We can wait a turn. I would honestly, I, God is my witness, I would like freeze a yak on this one. Why would I freeze a yak? Well, we should buy something. Yeah. Um... Because if a koala shows up, I think a yak is like, that's its time to shine. That's when it has some merit to it. Okay, we're about to get bodied. We're about to get blown out. We're about to uh, pretend I didn't say that because actually we won easily. I saw stats that scared me, but I shouldn't have been that scared. Combine me. Also a great koala enabler. But I'm not going to force a koala meta. If one exists, sure. But I, I actually think you can just run a, a woodpecker. I don't think we need to roll a puff in here, though. I know this is not the, the typical use for the woodpecker, but it, it has gotten us the occasional snipe. Now, next round, we can pivot into a yak koala build.
Probably. <laughs> I think, maybe? I think everything's going fine right now. So the koala is just so important because it's early scaling, which like doesn't exist outside of a few different things this early in the game. Add me. Your bird probably goes first here. That leaves you with the space for um, a koala and then a yak and then a woodpecker that shoots those two I think is fine because it gives the koala the, the triggers. Why don't we have the yak gain as much HP as possible because it's important for scaling. And it's kind of an awkward moment because like this is our pivot, but... The, the koala, it has a chance here. So it's going to be a 4-5, which is not incredible, but considering we just bought it, I'm not feeling that bad about it. Get moved, get moved, get owned, get moved. Not owned, by the way, not owned at all, not owned in the slightest, but we draw these, okay. Interesting to see an opponent running a clownfish. Don't see that too often. Interesting to see them not running koala. You don't see that too often either. Take one of these for now, just for level-based purposes. More yaks. More yaks. More hurt triggers. I'm leveling you, man. Start a battle. Seven damage to the opposite enemy. I'm going to go sicko mode. I believe that this can do something for us. I've been so burned. It only happens once. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I've been so burned in position two because that's where most people put pandas if they're still running them. Then I'm going to try you position three. We knew we had to pivot off of a seahorse at some point. Let's do it now. We're going to kill their freaking bird, man. Let's go. They have 24 uh, power. What? You have, you, your frog has 24 stats. Excuse me, what? How? How did this happen? They got a duck on their team? Is it possible to learn this sorcery? We need more hurt triggers. Okay, I think we, as much as I just got that hawk out there, we gotta get rid of it. Um, and then we make our bird better. We have you suck the HP out of the iguana for one extra hurt trigger. Man, oh man, let me tell you, I would kill for a, I would kill for a freaking woodpecker or just another way to squeeze a hurt trigger in here. For now, I'm taking a chance. One. Nice. Two. Suck. Two more. So now you're going to be a 7-8 with a crit chance. We got two 7-8s. Now, that's not great because you got two units that are apparently 9-11. How'd you get so strong? We were also, I miscalculated. How'd you get so strong? Don't lie to me. Okay, you actually took a scaling unit. That's how you got so strong? Okay, maybe that's my mistake. I'm willing to admit that it's possible. I would like my koala to get stronger. I'm, I'm just no life rolling for koalas now. That's not the way you want to play the game. <laughs> just to be honest I'll, I'll add you I'm glad you got so much HP that's very nice for everybody involved I don't really feel like I need to add a cucumber to you honestly because I feel like you're going to get sold at some point for our benefit give me something man you, we're going to get a suck chain going here you know what why not Yeah, yeah, this makes sense. We got a little human centipede going on. Another koala, another leech. I mean, another yak. So we have a... We're going to shoot our own koala, which is going to take away one temporary trigger from us. Okay. Um, we, we have the perfect koala team. The only problem is we're probably not going to live long enough to see it actually come to fruition. But if it pops... Not looking too likely, huh? How about a crit? How about an... E has there ever been a more disappointing fortune cookie than that? I guess it only had like two chances to work, but... Okay, that was embarrassing. I'm embarrassed. Let's go again. We go again. Seahorse, I only buy it because of the stats, really. Which means then I buy the iguana when it shows up. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. 
because I have a seahorse. So that's how I end up with seahorse iguana so much. Um, let's be a milky bush. I do want to say, again, in my own defense, I wouldn't buy seahorse iguana so much if any of the other tier one animals had any uh, viable use case whatsoever. Unfortunately, they do not. So I find myself oftentimes running some purple and green, which is okay. You want to get strange? It's not that strange. Like, don't, don't get super excited. But what if we roll a Kiwi because it has good stats? And then we, instead of immediately applying the buff to um, the first unit for whom it makes sense, we don't do that. And instead, we keep the Kiwi around until it gets statted out. And then for the low cost of a strawberry, we can give its buff to anybody. Maybe? I really don't see... I, you know what? I do like that a leech can generate a faint trigger. There is that. But... I mean, do you really see a leech beating an iguana here? I don't really see a leech beating an iguana here. Iguana's gonna snipe for two damage. But Okay, fine. You know what? Take a little suck on the hummingbird. I don't really want the hummingbird to faint. But if we could get units that have faint viability, particularly if they pass it to the rest of the squad, then we'd be talking. We draw. That's not so bad. One win. That's pretty bad. Not viable faint triggers, but that's okay. Roll me. Don't really care for a pug, but... No, 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 no. It's not it. You do like the faint trigger, though. But you, I have to suck 4 HP out of you. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not worth it. It's going to take so long to, to, to make it so. I wouldn't mind combining you. And then, weirdly enough, just rolling a pill bug. I know it seems truly insane. And then killing a pill bug? <laughs> no, that makes no sense. You've lost your mind. Um, I, we're going to kill you if we don't get you off the squad. I got to figure out how the heck I'm going to roll this. Okay, your stats are not valuable because we're going to sell you at some point anyway. Yeah, we do, do we care if the seahorse gets them? Sure, probably. You do generate a, a faint trigger, just for the record. So in this case, I mean, I don't know if this makes any sense, but here we are, okay? Here we are. I don't know. So we killed the 2-1 to make a, the 2-2 two, two that we sold the 2-1 to get. And the, it, I think that's like actually the best possible outcome, even though it looks very silly. Okay, that sucked really bad, but... <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, this, I'm just, you, can you blame me? I'm trying to find, there's like 20 animals in this pack right now where I'm like, they just don't work. So I'm trying to shoehorn in a way for them to work. Um, and it's not happening, but I'm genuinely, it's like, I'm looking. I'm looking for what's going to cause them to get to the next level. And we're not getting anything. But maybe that'll change at some point. Now, admittedly, I am running a Kiwi. Like a level 2.66 repeating, of course, Kiwi. I got a Cucumber on a Leech because I think if we level it up, we could put a Lollipop on it, switch it around, and then get its HP to build up again. Huge Seahorse, though. Huge Seahorse. <clears throat> we lose these. <laughs> I think... I mean, I know we're in the test build. This is literally just salt talking, but also I believe it. I think we're still in the early stages of balancing here. May Again, maybe I'm waiting for like someone that's just smarter than me to come along and, and theory craft a way out of this. It's another faint trigger. I like it. I can't take it yet, but I like it. Or could you? 
Maybe you could just faint the seahorse. And then add a strawberry to your mantis next turn. Okay, I'm going sicko mode. Don't faint the seahorse, though. Faint. No, faint the seahorse. Sell the bird. I, b I believe this. Then strawberry to your mantis. Sell the kiwi. That mantis comes out freaking popping. We got nonstop faint triggers. But I feel like there's too many non-viable units right now. That's how it feels to me. If that's not the way that you're seeing it based on the results that we're seeing, feel free to disagree with me. This, I'm just giving you my anecdotal evidence right now. So get roasted. Honestly, go ahead, become a level three. That's a wonderful buy sell. I just have to think about things for a second. <laughs> I don't think I can sell you this turn. Um, you know what I would be willing to do? Buy you, buff not the bird. Don't buff the bird. Get your mouse off. Okay. Then kill the bird. You can get sucked at no cost. That's a deal. Okay. Next turn, we can sell the zebra, the zebra and the kiwi. But then we got a problem, I'm realizing, because we'll only have four units, which is not a great position to be in. Hold on, we're winning this? Did I say four units? I think I meant two units. What do you got for me? What do you, we got a great buy sell here. Do we care about a buy sell? I don't know. S don't sell me yet. Sell, no, sell me first because you don't want the, the zebra to get hit by the, the, you don't want the zebra to accidentally buff the kiwi. Sell me, okay. Then buy me. I'm squirming around in that chair. I got to go to the dang bathroom, man. Sell me. I don't want any of this garbage. Sell me. Sell me. I'm going to throw in a pause. I'll be right back. All right. I'm back and ready to party. 14 gold, three animals, one must be disposable. Um, Roll me again. I got to remember, we're pretty early. Don't expect to see the best animals of all time. Start of battle. Start of battle. There's a part of me that's like, you take a frog, swap it, swap the stats to the eel. But we need you to go before you. And that's a lot of food cost. That's a big food expenditure. I'm rolling again. I just don't like any of these animals right now. You're a faintable unit. An eel that is basically is a 5-3 just doesn't appeal to me. I'm thinking, for the record, I think you can run that. <laughs> oh, dude, maybe it would have been better to run. Uh, no, I think it's okay. I thought about the... Well, you know what? We could, Hold on. Check this out. We could fill the squad, but we will lose a 1-1 one, one unit. But maybe that's okay, because it'll also give us some fodder. So many of our units have food, unfortunately, but this was my thinking. We suck 1 HP, we get 2. And then you're like fodder next turn if we if we want to go a little deeper into our roles. I would buy and sell you in a heartbeat. So I do see one problem with the squad right here. I'm not sure if you see it. The problem with the squad is that it's horrible <laughs> outside of our of our first two units. Um, or like our, our top two units, I should say. Uh, it's horrendous. But we may still win. Uh, although you're going to summon a strong unit. No, not that strong. Okay, the leech has kind of gotten there um, for now. Still a pretty slow scaler, but uh, you scaled two strawberry friends 1-1. One, one. You spat out an eel, which is kind of good, honestly, but maybe not good enough. I would still buy sell you. The stats are king. There is a part of me that says, why don't you come out here for now and... Scale two strawberry friends two two every turn. We're get our our stat game is picking up. Are we really eating an eel? Yeah, yeah, we are. It's not that good. Don't don't cry about it. I definitely think we can swap the stats on our leech as well. 
Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, a 1-1 uh, guinea pig probably would have been better off being sold, but and we could have eaten something else. I gotta hand it to you. you. You got there. You had just enough. Now, I would like a level 2 mantis of my own, if, if such a thing could be possible. 24-24. Okay. Buy me, and you can always be sucked. I can't flip you. I'm sorry. I gotta keep you frozen for now. You're actually a pretty good faint trigger, but let's... let's oh, oh, it's also pretty fantastic, honestly. Why don't you come out here? Two strawberry friends get buffed. I still trust this team. I think we built a, a solid scaling team, which you don't typically see <laughs> at this stage of the game. Now, they got some strong, uh, like some high quality units, but their actual power level is horrendous. So this bodes very well for us, but they might be a scary team in the future for all I know. For now, not so much. Okay, that was a big win. Six wins, I would feel good. I would feel good about the team. I probably would not buy a strawberry at this point. Um, I'm gonna flip you because you're gonna steal more HP, which is great. I think you gotta go, and I know you're not gonna love that, but it's mostly so we can fit in this beautiful, sure, buy sell on the platypus, which then allows us to do this and this. Now, am I insane? We can fit a lion on the team. It would it would become a nine ten maybe. There's another part of me that says you can run a shoe bill that gets sucked. I don't know. A 9-10 doesn't appeal to me as much as something that gives us a faint trigger. You'll give experience backwards. In this case, I think we need to rework the squad. And we need to put the, the blobfish so it buffs the mantis. Maybe we do it so it buffs the shoe bill? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Multiply buff by the turn number. Holy cow, man. That's insane, right? Keep keep some of these around. Friend ahead. Okay. I don't know how we would fit that now that I look at it. I don't know. I'm scared and confused. Just run this for now and try not to think about it too much. Keep a fox frozen just because it tends to be fantastic. Again, we're in a situation... We, our leech isn't even sucking anything. Our leech isn't even sucking anything. We just got it at the front of the freaking board like a fool. Like a chump. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. We're drawing. I can live with... Are we on lethal? Yes. I would love to get one more win just to feel better. I think you could make a fox work here. Here's the deal, okay? Forget this. You're almost at max scaling anyway. What's faintable? You'll get better scaling stats out of two foxes used properly. So go feel free to kill a shoe bill as far as I'm concerned. Add a fox... Sell the shoe bill. Kill a pelican. Now, find distributed foods. A great food. Also good. Roll me. A great food. Okay. Place me. This is how much I respect the fox. I sucked one of its HP. The buffs went mostly to the right units, I think. We could create three good units like this. If we live, it's a bird team. Am I scared of a bird team? Should I be scared of a, a bird team? I'm dead. I'm already dead. You know what? How did that happen? They beat me with a shark. I didn't even know such a thing was possible. Ah, uh, well, I, I got my butt kicked. I gotta, I gotta make a tier list, man. I, in tier one and two and three, I think there's two good units. That's, that's my hot take. What are they? Iguana? <laughs> Toad, I think. That's it, man. That's it. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. I'm still great. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.